identify the correct pair of diagnostic tests with disease. The given combinations are Mantoux for typhoid, Whale Felix test for scrub typhus, Vidal test for syphilis and VDRL test for diphtheria. First we have the diagnostic test which is followed by the disease that is diagnosed by the test. Now let's focus on one category that is the different diagnostic tests that are given here. Starting from option 1 that is Mantoux test. Mantoux is an intradermal skin test. Mantoux is an intradermal skin test which is used to diagnose tuberculosis. Therefore, Mantoux is a diagnostic test for tuberculosis which is also known as tuberculin skin test. And in case of Mantoux test, we inject 0.1 ml purified protein derivative which consists of 5 tuberculin units in it. We inject it intradermally into the patient's forearm. We inject into the flexor aspect of the forearm and we isolate the region and then assess it after 48 to 72 hours. After 48 to 72 hours, we will observe for the induration at the site of injection. Both erythema and induration are observed, but the most important and significant factor is to assess for the size of induration. If the size of induration is less than or equal to 5 mm, then it is considered to be negative. If it is somewhere between 6 to 9 mm, then it is considered as equivocal. And if it is greater than or equal to 10 mm, then it is considered to be positive for tuberculosis. Therefore, Mantoux test is a diagnostic test for tuberculosis and not for typhoid. Therefore, option 1 says the wrong combination. And next, the second diagnostic test that is Whale Felix test. So what is this Whale Felix reaction? Whale Felix test is an example of heterophile agglutination test. Heterophile agglutination test. This test detects the presence of heterophile antibodies in the patient's serum. For that we should know or understand the term heterophile antigens. It denotes the same antigens or closely related antigens present in different tissues in more than one species. So here we should focus on the statement in more than one species. So the same antigen or closely related antigen is present in more than one species and such antigens are termed as heterophile antigens and the antibodies formed against heterophile antigens are termed as heterophile antibodies. And these heterophile antibodies present in the patient's serum can be detected by performing an heterophile agglutination test and one such test is the whale felix reaction. So whale felix test is used in diagnosis of typhus which is caused by rickettsia. Rickettsia is a bacteria therefore typhus is a rickettsial infection. In rickettsia an antigen is present Okay, that is Rickettsia shares a common antigen with one another species, that is with certain strains of Proteus bacilli. So, what are those certain strains? Ox2 and Ox19 strains of Proteus vulgaris and Oxk strains of Proteus mirabilis. Therefore, a common antigen is present between Rickettsia and Proteus bacilli and this is known as the heterophile antigens. Therefore, in typhus patients, antibodies are generated against the heterophile antigens and they are known as heterophile antibodies. So, they agglutinate with certain strains of Proteus bacilli and this forms the basis of heterophile agglutination test. And now, we should know some other additional points. That is, we have different type of typhus. How do we differentiate? Say for example, scrub typhus. Scrub typhus shows positive agglutination only with ox K strains of Proteus bacilli and not with ox 2 and ox 19. Whereas when it comes to epidemic typhus and endemic typhus, epidemic and endemic typhus shows positive agglutination for ox 19 and ox 2 but not only for ox 19, okay, ox 19 of Proteus vulgaris. Whereas when it comes to rocky mountain spotted fever 
rocky mountain spotted fever it shows positive agglutination for both ox 19 and ox 2 but not for ox k so these are some of the additional points that we should remember therefore whale felix test is an heterophile agglutination test used in diagnosis of typhus and therefore option 2 says a correct combination and now getting on with option 3 which says vidal test what is this vidal test Vidal test is a tube agglutination test which is used in diagnosis of enteric fever. Enteric fever that is typhoid. Therefore, it is a diagnostic test for typhoid. So, in Vidal test, we use two important antigens of salmonella because salmonella contains three antigens. H antigen, O antigen and VI surface antigen and Vidal test uses H and O antigens of Salmonella typhi and it uses H antigens of Salmonella para typhi A and B. Salmonella para typhi A and B. So we check for H agglutination and O agglutination in patient serum. H agglutination and O agglutination. So, it is a tube agglutination test. The test will be performed on tubes. So, for H agglutination, we use a separate tube known as Dreyer's tube, which has a conical bottom. Whereas, for O agglutination, we use a separate tube known as Felix tube, which has a circular or a round-ended bottom. And in case of H agglutination, so if the H agglutination is positive, we'll be able to observe loose, fluffy, cotton, woolly clumps. Loose, fluffy, cotton, woolly clumps will be observed. Whereas in case of O agglutination, we'll be able to find a disc-like pattern at the bottom of the tube. Therefore, H agglutination and O agglutination uses a different tube and also shows different patterns of agglutination. So, for Vidal test, the antigens are obtained from Salmonella typhi 901 strain. HNO antigens are prepared from this particular strain of Salmonella typhi. Therefore, Vidal test is a diagnostic test for enteric fever that is for typhoid. Therefore, option 3 which says Vidal test for syphilis is also wrong. Vidal test is for typhoid and not for syphilis. And the last option is VDRL. VDRL test for diphtheria is given. So, what is this VDRL? It stands for Venereal Disease Research Laboratory. It is an example of slight flocculation test. Slight flocculation test and it is the diagnostic test used in syphilis. Diagnostic test of syphilis. So, what happens in VDRL test? We take the patient serum. We inactivate the patient serum by heating it and then we place it on a cavity slide and then add a drop of VDRL antigen to it and then place it on the VDRL shaker for few minutes. So it results in formation of flocules in the slide. So the formation of flocules confirms the presence of reagenic antibodies in the patient serum. So these reagenic antibodies are nothing but the antibodies formed against the cardiolipin antigen of the tryponema against cardiolipin antigens. Therefore, detection of reagenic antibodies in the serum is the basis of VDRL test which is the slight flocculation test. There is one more test used in diagnosis of syphilis that is the Kahn test but the Kahn test is an example of tube flocculation test. So, this is an additional point I would like to mention here. It is an example of tube flocculation test. Therefore, option 4 which says VDRL test for diphtheria is again a wrong combination. VDRL is a diagnostic test for syphilis and not for diphtheria. Whereas for diphtheria, the diagnostic test will be Schick test or LX gel precipitation test etc. So, these are the different diagnostic tests for diphtheria. And therefore, out of the 4 given options, the correct combination is whale felix test for scrub typhus and one another important point that we should observe from the given four options is that Mantoux test is an intradermal skin test or tuberculin skin test, whale felix test is a heterophile agglutination test, Vidal test is a tube agglutination test and VDRL test is a slight flocculation test. In addition to that, Kahn test which is a tube flocculation 
test. And we should also know that the Weyl Felix reaction is not positive for all rickettsial infections. That's very, very important. It is negative for certain rickettsial infections such as Q fever, trench fever, and rickettsial pox. Q fever, trench fever, and for rickettsial pox. So these three conditions stands as an exception. Okay, these three rickettsial conditions are negative for Weyl Felix reaction. Q fever, trench fever, and rickettsial pox. Therefore, out of the given four options, the correct pair of diagnostic test with disease is option two, which says Weyl Felix test for the diagnosis of scrub typhus.